Hi, I'm Erin Harrison with the TMC Newsroom. Here are today's top stories. Confirming yesterday's rumors of VeriSign shopping around for a potential buyer for its security division, Symantec Corp has purchased VeriSign's authentication services unit for $1.28 billion in cash. As a manufacturer of security software, Symantec's purchase of the division now gains them an additional security arm, namely a business that certifies the safety and security of websites. The all-cash transaction is set to close by September 2010. Newstar, a provider of communications products and directory services, was recently listed by Forbes magazine as the 17th fastest growing tech company in America. Illumina, which sells products and services for genetic analysis and research, snagged the top spot, followed by Google, Salesforce.com, and iRobot. Last year's list weathered Wall Street's storm somewhat better than the overall market, Forbes noted. To make the list, companies must have latest 12-month revenues of $25 million or more, annualized sales gains of at least 10% over the last five years, and a profit over the past 12 months. And pledging to help enterprises tailor their presence and retail applications to mobile devices, enterprise software maker Sybase unveiled its Sybase mobility platform along with a slew of applications focused on M-Conference and mobile office support. Encompassing an expansive framework of mobility servers, mobile applications, and mobile services, the Sybase platform is designed to transform the way enterprises connect with customers and empower their employees, officials with the New York-based company said. Sybase executives didn't divulge too many details on how the launch in with the company's recent merger announcement, German-based software company, SAP AG. Instead, they focused on the fact that despite the huge growth of smartphones and consumer apps, true enterprise mobility still remains largely misunderstood by businesses. And with the Android beating the iPhone in the first quarter of 2010 and U.S. sales with 28% of the smartphone market that has managed to surpass Microsoft, a senior SK Telecom official said this week it will likely be a battle between Apple and Android over the next year. But it's not a battle, it's a war, according to TMCNet's Doug Money, and it's going to go on for years. Both the iPhone and Android will continue to pick up market share in the U.S., he said, ultimately at the expense of the ubiquitous BlackBerry. Research in motion will remain strong in the corporate world for basic applications, but there's just such a huge onslaught of iPhone and Android apps that it will be hard for RIM to keep up. That's all for today. For these stories and all the latest news from the communications world, Visit TMCNet.com. I'm Erin Harrison with the TMC Newsroom. Thank you for watching.